Knit in Saskatchewan. Sunday, July 24th, 2016. Looking in from the east. We're about two miles out along what will eventually become Township Road 30. Wiggles around quite a bit. This is the Jim Creek Valley. It's draining to the south to get into the, the big muddy valley. That gigantic spillway that drained away so much of the glacial meltwater from south central Saskatchewan. A nice collection of spare parts. And what this country is famous for. Looks like a Charlet and Swiss brown mix. Don't see any Hereford. These are the Alma in the Lake Alma Uplands, Echo Region. Stagnant ice moraine, all hummocky and potholed. Lots of dark brown looms. Pretty good farmland if you can get to it. And I'm looking due east, southwest along Railway Avenue towards Central Business District. Rail line that the Canadian Pacific built through here, built to here in 1929. It's just over there. This is the end of the line. There's a turnaround Y just on the other side of the elevator that the Saskatchewan Eat Pool built in 1983. It's been in private hands since 1999. It was the third of three elevators ever built in Minton. The pool itself and Western Grain both built in 1930 and they were merged into the new elevator in 1984. Looking back along the road that will turn into Township Road 80, we're on 3rd Street East. This is Treaty 4 territory signed at Fort Capel on September the 15th, 1874. By signing the treaty, the Cree Salto and Assiniboia people agreed to share their territory and they were shocked and still are by the number of people who began arriving to break the soil and facade and, and farm. A volunteer fire department, farming settlers, Germans, British from Ontario, Scandinavians began arriving in this region in 1908-1909. First ranching and then breaking the soil. Here's the Gladmar Minton United Church. Don't know when it was built. Still active. Minton Gladmar, pardon me. And back southwest. On February 15th, 1929, in the parlor of his homestead, Matthew Cape opened the rural post office of Fort Comfort. Named for a nearby Northwest Mounted Police outpost. Early to mid 60s, Kate moved the office from his homestead onto the town site here and changed the name to Minton on April 14, 1930. And right here, in a renovated house on the corner of First Avenue and First Street East, from July 13th to August 3rd, 1931, Wilfred Orr brought the tenants of the Churches of Christ to Southern Saskatchewan. The school was only here for one year, next year in Radville, and then Weyburn. There's not much traffic, so I'm standing in the middle of Center Street and First Avenue. I think that's a new garage, the Massey Ferguson Heston dealership, the Friendship Center. Until 1971, the little portable station that was dropped off in 1929 stood down where the trucks are. Unless they're all covered up, I don't think there's enough windows in that building to be the old hotel. I've not seen historic pictures of Minton, so I don't know where another hotel would have stood. The station stood at mile 79 on the Brom Head sub from Estevan. 
Minton was the end of the line and there was no scheduled trains out this way come 1987. It was recognized as a grain dependent branch line in 1995 and a notice of discontinuance was issued August the 4th, 1998 and the steel is all gone. Little garden at the corner of Center Street and First Avenue. Oh, watering the birds. There's the school on First Avenue, the road out of town to Highway 6. Wow, automatic sprinklers. East side of Center Street, kitty corner from the park. The CPR laid out the town site in 1929, perpendicular to its rail line. And around to First Avenue, heading east towards the Bible School. This may or may not be Axton's Garage and Trucking Company headquarters. And on Center Street, between the new garage and the credit union, is the Friendship Center. I presume it's the Minton Fellowship Hall. And right across the street is the village office and the headquarters of the RM of Surprise Valley No. 9. Minton became a hamlet in 1930 and incorporated itself as a village on January the 1st, 1951, and remains so. Right beside the village office. On Railway Avenue, the north side, and looking west towards First Street West. This old store might have been the post office at one time. There's one of the four halls. We've already seen the Fellowship Hall, so that might be the Service Club Hall, the Community Hall, or the Elks Hall. Number 519, heated outdoor swimming pool down there. There's a rodeo and a fair held every year in town. There's the outdoor skating rink. The village's population peaked in 1966 at 219 folks. In 2016, there were 55 people. Active little place. The curling rink. There was probably a few one-room schoolhouses scattered in the neighborhood. Many of them were closed and the students collected into this building that was likely put up around 1941. And you can see that the post office is now in the new school. This is the school district number 5174. And it was closed in 1993. Looking south down Highway 6, those are the Cato Lakes uplands down there. Ridgeway on the international boundary is 11K south. And the Jim Creek Valley. We're right on the boundary between the moist mixed grassland regime to the northeast and the mixed grasslands to the southwest. The co op card lock. Fueling station over oh, there's the rodeo grounds over there. Saskatchewan's capital city, Regina, is 150k north of Highway 6. Highway 6 ends at Choiceland, 500 miles away. St. Eugene's Roman Catholic Church on 1st Street West. And this is the main of several burial grounds in the Minton area. Another one is the Bergfield Cemetery out west somewhere. The CPR had intended to extend the Bromfield sub across to Big Beaver, thence to Rock Glen and up to Assiniboy on the southern main line, but they never could justify spending all that money to get across the big muddy lake valley between 
Big Beaver in Minton, Saskatchewan. On January the 12th, 1945, the first intact example of Japanese fire balloon desperation weapon was recovered near Minton. It was one of 296 total which reached North America.